Hello everybody, Shift here again with another Backpack Bells run and today I'm gonna try to do the Fun Sing Rapier build. Let's get the damage here. I think we got a good start. Uh, I'm not gonna buy the garlic. I'm just gonna lock in the leather bag. And we might even get a wooden sword early or a falcon blade even later. But the main weapon of choice is going to be the fa fencing rapier. Fencing? Facing? I'm, I'm not really sure. We should lose here. We even have blindness, which already decreases our DPS. It's okay. First fight's a loss. Very often phenomena. And we found regen and the new secret tech. I realized health potions. Man, health potions are busted. Completely not really busted. I'm gonna prove it to you today. Uh, let's actually get the hero sword so we have some kind of early game weapon maybe protecting us. I'm gonna prove to you today how busted, completely or terribly busted the health potions are. Maybe I should have even gone for the goober that was in the shop for once again early game wins. The game, the weapon is going to be a late game weapon. Like the run itself is a late game run. We will need to get some specific items late game, which is mostly the fencing uh, up here, the weapon. We mainly need the weapon. And then we also need, I guess, luck generation or energy generation or attack speed. We're going to see what else is going to be missing. Ah, ah. Last or second fight. We're going to go down to two lives as we most of the time do. Uh, let's go with an attack speed and definitely let's go with another one of these. And we found a piggy bank for even more money. So let's make, make money. Uh, yeah, let's go. I would say this is still a most likely loss, but maybe a win because you can't really know. Theoretically, I could min max just a smidge to give the banana the attack speed. Could have definitely invested into that. How are we going to do it because of one specific banana? This guy has a goober it and they could have min maxed with blueberries over here. So, uh, yeah, we're winning because they didn't min max the Gubert, is what I would say. We just drunk the potion too. Come on, hit him. Go. Oh, no, Gubert is actually destroying us. Maybe Fatigue is going to help us if Gubert doesn't heal here at the end. Nice. We actually won. We would have lost if that thing fired. So, we, if the opponent min max just a smidge more, we would have lost right there and there. I would say let's go with healing herbs on the healing potion. And uh, let's continue rolling. I could go for the superhero sword. Should I try to even do that? I, I don't think we need the superhero sword. Or I can go superhero sword plus a stone build. That could also maybe be a thing. Uh, for now, let's just get room. And honestly, I, I, I guess a stone. I could go a stone build if I just happen to find... I don't want to do super build. Uh, do I want a second banana? I think I do want more bananas though. Energy issues might be a thing. Maybe not right now, but later they might. Found this cheap. Also found a piggy bank. I'm not gonna go bedstone, no. I'm not gonna go that. Let's see how this is gonna go. It's a deck build with just lovers. So they have regen and just took 10 health away from us. Two regen is powerful. We also have two regen though. So th this is a poison build. And we are a damage build. Let's see who can win. Also we have minus four poison from the health potion the moment it fires. Come on, boom, fire. Now we're down to six. So now Fatigue comes in, helping us DPS the opponent down. And we won. Nice, nice. We're getting those early wins to maintain lives. In case you don't know what the potion does, first of all, we got the upgrade, so I can instantly mention this. Strong health potions. So health below, when my health drops below 50 health, I heal 18. And I gain to regen. And I also remove four poison. That is it. Why is the secret tech you're going to see? We found attack speed gloves. Very nice. And we found our piggy bank and another one of these. I definitely want another one of these. Uh, I would say, I'm inclined to say something like this would be better. Yeah, and then you go here. You also get double attack speed boost, nice. And the stone is here, so it gets the damage buff. The sword gives plus the damage to things around, so it's going to give the damage here. This gives attack speed to both of those. And this gets twice the attack speed from the fanny packs below. Let's get money gain. Let's roll them. More money gain. And our banana. Uh, not really. I would say roll them to find inventory exactly. This and this and a stone. I'm gonna definitely buy the stone. Which I should put here. Flip this around. Because doing more, two more damage in the beginning is gonna be more... This is, yeah, two more damage in the beginning is gonna be more useful than healing. Is this actually true? Healing faster? I think healing faster is gonna pay more importance later. I, I need to get the infinite whetstone, uh, the infinite stone built, by the way. Okay. They have a bunch of shielding. They have a bunch of shielding right here. But the moment I get through the shielding, we should be winning. And they are also applying poison to us because they have the poison backpack. I just removed most of the poison we just got hit by. Now I have regen and they don't. But they start scaling in power damage. So they should outscale us in all aspects. Nice. <laughs> nice. And now we're at two lives. Classic case scenario for whenever I'm playing this game. Let's go here. Do I need this actually? I don't think I need this actually. Let's roll to find things. I found a spear as a weapon of choice right now. And I found the infinite stones. So I'm going to go with infinite stones. 
Here we go. Uh, I'm inclined to say we want the stones inside the crit zone. So let's do something like this. Actually, first we're gonna buy. There is nothing to buy though. Okay, I'm gonna do a quick reorganize time. Okay, I'm back. Uh, this is good enough right now, I would say. Gloves or face is more important. We have both stones. One is getting the crit chance, the other one's getting the uh, attack speed. And both of them are getting the damage from the hero sword. So let's do it. Let's do it. Let's see how this is gonna go. Okay, it's a hammer build with attack speed build and everything. Uh, let's see how this is actually gonna go. Honestly, this is not a good build for us. We have healing. They have vampirism. So if I get stunned two or three more times, we're gonna get destroyed from the daggers alone. Otherwise, I think we maybe got this. No, Ta down to death's door. Down to death's door. If it isn't another day in this channel, always at one life. <laughs> let's go. Let's do this. Remove the... And here is the another health potion. And now the health potions are gonna start actually being important. Now, this health potion here, although it seems like it's just plus 12 health and minus 4 poison, it's not only plus 12 health and minus 4 poison, but it's also plus 18 health again, and plus 2 regen again, and 4 cleanse again. So, this potion here is instantly 30 health, because it also uses this thing. 30 health and minus 8 poison and plus 2 regen. That's what this one potion we just got is. So, that's why it's busted. Uh, do I want carrot for luck like, giving us a power? Mm, maybe, yeah. Let's go for the carrot. Let's roll those. Found another one, not really. And I found the Falcon Blade with the attack speed here. So let's flip this around. Uh, here you go. So this is still activating. I would like to also get this. This gives us in the beginning mana, but then it starts giving you luck. I think it's a good thing. Maybe not right this specific moment. I definitely want the room. But for now, let's take it. So we have mana and maybe we might get luck. If we hit this timely enough, I would say I want you guys to go like this. I saw the, the, the carrot gets attack speed and this still activates. So we should be winning most of the fights from the, the two potions alone. It's, it's very, very powerful. It might not be visible, but you're going to see. This is as if I already have like plus. I just gave myself 3D life. We're still only getting mana. Now I just need to get two or three more blueberries to start gaining luck faster. As you see, we're both at the same amount of life, but I have a pocket 60 healing. Okay, still healing, and look at our health. Boom, just the one fired. Now the below is gonna fire. Boom, I have full regen, and the opponent's dead already. Very nice, very nice. And those combined into Falcon Blades. Now we get attack speed. I just trigger faster. 35% faster, the attack speed. Everything that's around has 35% faster attack speed. And also, this thing attacks twice when it attacks. Uh, I would say we go Piercing Arrow. It goes here. Obviously, we need to reorganize this, but not yet. Blood Amulet. I definitely want that. If I find more Gloves of Haste, I will obviously give Vampirism to them because they're going to start attacking faster. What is this shop? Look at this. Sail, 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 sail. Ding, 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 ding. We're going to go here. We're going to go in the leather bag. Now, obviously, we're going to lose from Spikes, as is right now. Although, we have the Stones helping us out. Uh, I want these to be reorganized just a smidge. So that I can start hitting this. I want you here and I want you here. Nice. So these are going to start activating now. And I, I'm just going to reorganize without talking. Done. So this gives attack speed to this and this, which are the fastest ones because bananas are hitting every five seconds. So this is every four. This is every 3.5. So this is giving attack speed to both of those. Also, the stones are getting attack speed. And these are still lined up. And then the piercing arrow activation is happening from all of those from all four of my items. Very nice. And we're going to reserve that and let's go. Theoretically, we should be good here unless the opponent's a Spikes build. It's not a Spikes build, so we should have this. A Poison build is not really an issue for us as we have very, very heavy anti-poison. We remove poison from the carrots and we also remove poison from the potions. So you see right now we have eight. It's going to 10, six. Uh, you see the poison's going down, not up. And we continue attacking the opponent. Four, and we still had potions to drink. So we still had like a potion to drink and I was already at four. Let's go leather bag. I would say it goes down here. This fits for sure. 55 shielding and cleansing. But honestly, I want to get the build that I want to get. Let's get energy, I would say. Roll them. We found crit chance. Definitely get this. So this is 5% crit chance for each luck I have. I also want the attack speed. And let's go. We are still searching for the weapon of choice, which is the fancy fencing rapier. rapier. Uh, it's going to switch the stones away. We just drank all my potions and I'm still surviving. The opponent has spikes, that's why we're dying. 
Uh, but, 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 at the end, uh, at the end, one more, yes, we almost lost, but we actually survived. At death's door. At death's door. And here is the weapon of choice. Fencing, fancy fencing rapier. So this thing, whenever it attacks on hit, if you have three luck, it uses three luck to gain plus two damage forever. On miss, so it might miss, obviously, it gives you three luck. Uh, luck, you know, you would think that luck gives you crit chance, but no, luck increases accuracy by 5%. So this here has 60% miss chance so that it misses often. And whenever it misses, it gives you three luck. So that means 15% higher chance to hit, right? And then the bag itself, this bag here, the ranger bag gives you 5% crit chance for each luck. And then another acorn 5%. So this is like 10% crit, uh, crit chance with each luck so if i have 10 luck this is a guaranteed crit and also a guaranteed hit and then uh, it also gives itself plus damage i would say we completely switch the falcon blade away or i have it back here just to give attack speed because i think the fencing rapier is the best weapon in slot i think maybe it should even go here and uh, the stone should go away or the stones just could go down something like this is the best in my opinion let's go with fencing rapier here this is a four slot item now my energy is still low because this thing is consuming 0.7 stamina attack and this consumes 1 stamina, but this is a very slow weapon. It has a 1.9 cooldown. So we have a stamina issue. As long as I have bananas, though, we should be able to control that. And we found another one of those backpacks. So let's put one here so we get even more attack speed. I want you one spot back. And let's just fit the rest in as they were. I need one more potion, by the way, to make those completely broken. And obviously we need the potion backpack to be put here and here. That's very important. It, it helps you and saves you from, from a million things. Oh, I didn't get the secondary crit chance to the Falcon Blade. That was bad. Should have had the Ar Archon right here, but it's okay. Let's see. We have a lot of poison, but we're going to get rid of it in a moment. And look at this. 43 damage. More damage. Let's go fire and death them. Death them to death. Very nice. The, at the end, how much damage was it doing? 16 to 22. It was scaling. Yeah, we want the Acorn here, so both of these get the crits. And also the, the stone gets the crits. Nice. We got luck for the piggy. Uh, please combine the piggy. Thank you. You are going to go here for shielding. I could go for book of light. Removes blindness and also gives us the damage immunity. I mean, it's cheap. Right now we can find it for six. If it's cheap, if it's on sale, you buy it. I could go for box of riches to maybe try to find the remove debuffs from opponents with the falcon blade. I think that's a good idea. Let's go for that. And uh, let's go with Fanny Pack to give even more attack speed. I can put one back here and this, send this one spot to the back again. So let's see how this is going to go. Okay, this is not a Spikes build, so we should have this. They have a Jinx to kill out, which takes away a bit of luck from our end. But it's okay. We are getting a bunch of luck every time we miss. And we're gaining a bunch of luck every time we hit. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, all of you. We destroyed. <laughs> destroyed. We are scaling too much for you. On the attack speed, that's irrelevant. We found a chance to pierce life and hit a chance to pierce and hit life directly. I would say that goes on you because that's my big smack. And we found another health potion. Very important. And now we've got three health potions. This once again is a very sizable difference. This is not just 12 life and four poison, it's 24 life and eight poison. And it's gonna be even more in a moment. Uh I could I could put this here behind. So we have some kind of crazy healing. I would like to do that. I'm going to reorganize the moment. You also join. Roll them. Do I want more banana? No. Oh, here we go. Chance to remove opponent buff. And this. Nice. Nice. We literally got exactly what I wanted. So I'm going to reorganize now to give this fanny pack to the fencing rapier. Okay, I'm back. So the organization has become the following. First of all, the this here is not going to really stay in the build. This the stone build is not going to really stay. So I'm, I'm just throwing it around right now. It is what it is. I'm, I'm not giving it the attack speed from the Falcon Blades, but this it can stay just so that it fires a bit. Here it is. It's it's getting hit by the Acorn Collar. So this is the crit stone. This is the non-crit stone. Doesn't matter. And uh, the potion still is going on, but I want the Goober to be hitting both of those so they get attack speed. So from here on out, the build, the idea is we throw these out. Like the stone idea goes away completely. The potions are going to be in this corner here with a, two, a double potion belt here. One here and one here. The potion zone. And then I'm just going to try to find as many Jinx Tortillas and gloves and whatever possible to give even more attack speed to the rapier. That's it. The build is ready. We now are trying to force specific things. 
we're not gonna go into random stuff anymore. So I got the double 45% uh, chance to remove buffs with the Falcon Blade. So every time the Falcon Blade attacks, it's gonna start taking away some buffs. Specifically, the spikes is what I'm afraid of. Uh, but there's that. We have potion, but the poison is not gonna actually do anything to us. We're at half health. Boom, we start healing. Boom, boom, boom. We're still half full. And now the rapier is gonna start doing damage. I also got the damage immunity window going on. Come on. I'm taking away some buffs. Nice 64 hit there. Nice. Nice. At the end, we won. How much damage was this doing? 26 to 32. I have some issues. I think I also have energy issues. Yeah, we also have energy issues. I should definitely try to fix that. We need more bananas. And I found the gloves of haste. What is this? Chance to pierce. I might as well go here. You join. Uh, you joining, you don't even fit anywhere. Yeah, this, this really doesn't fit. We, uh, yeah, that, it's it's just straight up not possible. Let's go Gloves of Haste, which I want on the on this one. I want on the Fencing Raper. I want that thing to attack faster and faster. Let's roll, I would say. Yeah, let's roll. Another attack speed. This does fit somewhere down here or up here, to be honest. Yeah, that's good. Chance to lifesteal. We're going to put lifesteal on you. Let's switch these. Uh, Actually, how can I switch these better? I want to combine those. I guess by going here. I need just room for that left side. Let's roll him. Let's roll him. And I found the room I wanted. Perfect. So for now, you go here. And the potions all get transferred over to that. So now the potions have a 30% chance to trigger each other. So these are even more healing. The attack speed stays. I guess the stones can be up here. So we fling them. The stones have literally no downside to them whatsoever. Because they have on hit destroy three armor, so it shouldn't really do anything. And also they're ranged weapons, so as far as I know, ranged weapons don't trigger anything. You go there, and uh, we want more attack speed after this. Let's go. Life steal on the chipped ruby, or life steal on the fencing ripper. I think life steal on the fencing ripper. Yeah. But now let's go like this. Wait a second. Wait a second. Why do I have the fencing ripper here? You can go up here. Yeah, this way we buff more stuff, and this is not getting the crit. Yeah, but now it's not hitting the uh, Gubert. Gubert is more important than this thing getting the crit. Unless this zone hole, go this whole zone goes one spot to the left. Right? Is this reorganized time? Reorganized time. Okay, back. Uh, this is obviously better. And uh, now let's uh, let's go. Now let's go. Hoping we're gonna survive here again. <laughs> we have potion explosion built. Let's see how this gonna go. 69 poison. We have a lot of anti-poison. So let's see if we can drink our, our life away. 51 poison. As you see, we're removing whatever we can. And we moved whatever we can. And we survived. We survived. They died from their own poison. Let's go. I'm telling you, this thing over here is working. Boom, got those combos. Now this gives us 40% attack speed. I just realized this was literally not getting used. <laughs> Whoopsie. Chance to pierce life and hit life directly. Let's go here. And now these have a 30% chance to trigger it twice. So this is even more anti-poison. Lifesteal is a guaranteed yes. Is what I would say. Oh, this can crit. Unbelievable. Okay, so now we have a 15% lifesteal. With 30% chance to pierce health directly. I, I'm not sure which of these two is better. And this also gives us a 6 vampirism and 35% attack speed. And I found another one of these. I don't need more of them though. Roll them. We found a Jinx Torquilla. This joins as is. And it goes right here, hitting literally the whole board. And shielding. Ooh, look at this. It hits everything. Perfect. I want as many Jinx to kill us, to kill us as possible. If we can be a bit lucky. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, a Thorn build. This should destroy us. But we have removal of debuffs. So as long as I... Buffs, buffs. As long as I've got them away. Nice. They're down to no spikes. And we're starting to pierce through their life. 30, 55... And 41. There are 52. <laughs> Got him, boys. What is getting the piercing done this year, right? Yeah, the 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 big damage sword is doing the piercing. The other one is doing the assist. I got lifesteal. The same one that I have. Might as well do the switch here. This has a 4 second activation anyway. This has a 3.5. It's almost the same thing. Got another vampirism. I'm going to take this. With what's this combining? Definitely not with a word. I want the vampire glove. Let's go with more Jinx. No vamp. I don't care about this. I don't care about that. Actually, this is a good spotter. Might as well just put it in. A big room. A big room. A big room. 
and uh, this continues existing. We are super anti-poison this year. If I had the fourth one, it would be even more heavy anti-poison. Uh-oh, scaling against scaling. Let's see who wins. They start with a bunch of luck, which I'm going to take away. Uh, so they don't have luck in the moment, therefore they're not going to be getting crits. And as long as they don't get crits, they can't really destroy us with a bow build. Bye-bye, opponent. Bye-bye. Easy enough. How much damage do we do right now with uh, the fancy? The fancy is 22 to 28. It's a very stable basic build this year. It's very stable and basic. It works. It works. Now we have 20% lifesteal. And we got even more lifesteal to combine with the lifesteal. Perkele hitting those. Yeah, might as well have them there. Uh, roll them. And we found shielding. Once again, this is you start with for shield. I don't care about this. I mean, I could get this. It's going to fire right away, but I don't care about it. Energy gain and attack speed. Also a bit irrelevant. Uh, I could buy this. But who cares? I mean, I want the energy gain. Whatever. Let's roll him. Here we go. 20% attack speed. And every 7 seconds, regenerate stamina. Otherwise, gain attack speed. You go here. Every 7 seconds. This is every 5. <laughs> For killer. I would like to throw this zone away. Let's roll. Oh, here we go. Harm percent chance to remove the buff. And I also found the gloves, which combo with the lifesteal. So we are going to have even more attack speed. You know what? I'm going to put this on the Torquilla. Let's make the Torquilla fire faster. I definitely want this. Man, I'm super happy that I've got this harm percent chance to remove enemy debuffs. So the Falcon Blade is going to literally remove everything and lifesteal. And then the, the rep, the rep here is going to once in a while just, just destroy the opponent, no matter how much shielding they have. Remove debuffs is the play, man. Remove debuffs and piercing. 36. Boom, go, go. 3d2. Fire, fire. We start gaining attack speed. 43. And we still haven't drunk any of my potions, by the way, right? We haven't lost any life. We're not losing anything. We're not dying. There is no way they, they cannot kill us. Bye bye. Bye bye. You cannot kill us. Why? Because I have a 20% lifesteal on this thing. And we got even more lifesteal. And we got another gem of these. Nice. Let's get the 100% chance to pierce. Boom. Obviously, this goes here. You still have the chance to pierce. So you have a 100% chance to remove opponent buff. And 20% lifesteal. And we got an upgrade on the lifesteal. It's very lucky. We have a 5%. Every 5 seconds we cleanse a random buff from our end. So we also protect ourselves. Nice. Let's get the final shielding. We're super busted, man. And this Tortilla is firing faster. So the Tortilla gives attack speed to everything. This thing gives attack speed to everything around. This here, uh, and also gives us 20 lifesteal and also removes all the opponent debuff. This, whenever it attacks, it attacks twice. So whenever this attacks, two debuffs are gone. Two buffs are gone. And then also every five seconds, I'm cleansing random debuff alongside the carrot, which does that again every four seconds, which all of those are actually faster because Tortilla is hitting them. And uh, I'm healing with the Gubert. And if if I ever go down to Half-Life, I'm healing 12 plus 12 twice. So this is 24 plus 18 twice. So this is 3d6. So I'm healing all this amount. And I'm removing 4 plus 8 plus 8 poison. So that's now 20 poison removed. And I'm also getting a bunch of regen. And also all of these have a 30% chance to fire twice again. Twice. So this is just insane overall. This this here is super clutch. It's, uh, this You're going to see this in all of my runs from here on out. It's tech. It's tech. It's clutch tech. And this is a Jin build with the Jins not hitting anything. Very nice. We obviously remove the buff, so Jin build is not a thing. We also heal, so us losing is not a thing. Uh, let's see who wins. Because we scale, we heal, we have Vampirism, we take the buffs away, we even gain heat once in a while. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. And that uh, the next one is going to be the final fight. So what is this? We got a good old cleansing chance. 20% chance to cleanse. Because the last one's the last fight, we throw away all the piggy banks right away. Let's not forget that. Let's also get my defense. What is this? Vampirism uh, healing once in a while. Ah, might as well just get it. So we have some things going on for us. Let's roll them. Uh, we got even more cleansing. Might as well. I don't want to lose from random debuffs. Let's also go with anti-burst. Uh, so the first three seconds of the fight, we're going to take 25% less damage. Might as well. Uh, if I put one of these in, it's also going to give us 10% healing amplification. Might as well make that 15. Let's have a 15% healing amplification. And let's also have a 25% lifesteal. So we're healing even more than what we should have. Should I remove enemy debuffs? My debuffs? Um, yeah, why not? Let's just add a bunch of things to the deck that might fit. You know, there is no reason to have empty room. Here we go. We got a crit chance. Put that on the Funsing Rapier. 
I can't really put it in a better spot. Uh, the only other spot that hits both swords is where the Gubrits are. And I think giving crits to the fencing is better than giving crits to the Falcon Blade. Well, actually, the, f the fencing is already inside the backpack. So let's... No, 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 no. Fencing, fencing. This is the, that thing can crit. On the vamp healing. Might as well put it here. And I think we're good. So this every 4 seconds steals 1 life. Do I want every 7 seconds regenerate stamina or do I want to remove debuffs? I cleanse debuffs and steal 1 life. Stealing 1 life is a joke. Might as well go for regenerate stamina. And this can be wherever. And I think we won. We never found the other potion I wanted. I could buy this. I do gain enough shielding for this to actually be important. I'm gonna buy that. Let's do that. Let's... Let's sell... One. Right? I need three gold. One, two, three. Stealing life... Uh, like, stealing one life is just such a joke, so let's just sell all those. This is, I think, better in my opinion. This is gonna give us 3T life. This is gonna give us 3 shielding. It says start with at least 20 shield. Do we start... We do start with 20 sh... Do we start with 20 shield? That might have been a mistake. Eh, whatever. Whatever doesn't really matter. Do we start with 20 shield? We don't. We start with 16, so this is never gonna fire. <laughs> it is what it is. Doesn't matter. We're not gonna lose from anything anyway. We are taking away all the buffs the points are getting. This is a super duper buff build, but we're taking away the buffs that they're getting anyway, and I'm healing because I have life steal. They're dying. They are dying. Bye bye. 50 damage. Boom. 57. Now what? Now what? Boom. 71. <laughs> You're gone. You're gone. So here in the beginning, they were actually good. Like, they, they were surviving. Look at how much life they have. They have life. They survive. They have life. They survive. Regenerate. Blah, blah, blah. And now we start attacking them. They still heal. We start losing life, but we're healing. I mean, look at this. I'm missing 300 health right here. And then fencing repair attacks. 18. And then... Wait... How did we heal? Here, here, here is the healing. So the Gubrit heals us. This thing fires. This attacks. And we do zero damage. It does zero. No, the spikes do zero damage. Wait, how did we miss my hit? Generate five health. Lost in health. Lost mana. Oh, we got, became damage immune. I see. We became damage immune. Then we healed from the banana. Then we healed from the falcon blade. The falcon blade did four damage. Then we healed from the vampirism. We also healed from the Goobert. Like, heal, 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 heal for life. The opponent's starting losing life. They start losing buffs. They start losing... They get spikes. We lose something. We lose even more. Now we start doing damage. Delta 3 damage. Blah, 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 blah. They heal. They drink their potions. We lose some life. We gain some life back. They lose a bunch of life. Boom, 46 damage with the good old crit. Let me wrap here. We're, we're still healing. I'm not down to 260 here. 266. And then we heal 14 from lifesteal. We heal 14 from the Goobert. We heal from the banana. Boom, boom, boom. Up life again. Look at our life. For 300. They can't even get us, man. Oh, no. We lose even more life. Boom, boom, boom. We lose even more life. We heal even more. Like, we had so much healing and they were just getting melted. And the longer this would have lasted, we might not have healed more, but this was scaling. This already got up to 27 damage to 33, so this was going really nice. We had our luck. We also got an Empower. Very nice. <laughs> Lucky on our end. We even took whatever they had away. So, nice. This was a cool build on your end, by the way. This, this heroic potion idea. Cool. We took all the buffs away. Look at them. They triggered one, two, three, four of these, which actually doesn't mean four they activated. That means they activated seven minimum, right? Because it's one, two, three, four, four, five, uh, five, six, seven. So, and then also whatever the backpacks fire. So they did actually trigger all these, but they only had one in power. I would suggest to you, by the way, you should go on with big, big sword build. Big, big blade, big blade sword build. Not, not double, uh, double blood thorn. Why go with double bloodborne? Oh, the idea is they get a bunch of region. Ah, they were targeting the region that this thing is giving you to uh, make them into spikes and vampirism. Well, didn't work out. Didn't work out. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, that's going to be it for today. And as always, oh, from 69, nice, we go up to 90. And uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. As always, thanks for watching and see you guys around.